What's up, YouTube Nation? Eagles Truth here with you, and man, I am going to get kind of beat up on this. Because <laughs> Eagles won 28-3. They blew out the Giants. Hell, Jalen Hurts and Saquon Barkley and all the starters didn't really play like at all in the fourth quarter. Maybe just a tad, tad bit, but like they had the whole fourth quarter off. I mean, that's rarefied air for any team, for any team to put in their backups for the far majority of the fourth quarter. So... Jalen Hurst didn't have a turnover. The defense had like seven sacks. Didn't give up a touchdown for the second straight game. I mean, I think the Giants had like over, like just like a hundred and some yards total offense. Like what? Like Saquon Barkley went off, had like 180 all, some all purpose yards and a touchdown. Like he, he had more yards rushing than the Giants had as a team. <laughs> like you know, we could go on and on and on. Yay. Still gonna talk about the negatives. I know, I know. People are like, dude, what? What the fuck? I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm gonna go off of what I had in my freaking halftime video. We have a quarterback problem. I was watching Birds 365, the post game show, and Xander's all like, Jalen Hurts made an amazing pass to that was in the bucket, blah, 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 blah. Dude, that was a desperation throw off his back foot. Yeah, ball was accurate. Very accurate. Good job. Score a touchdown. Yay. Still a bad decision. On fourth and three, you're going to throw the ball 50-some yards downfield on a low probability, low probability play. Stupid. Um, he is like an all-or-nothing type of quarterback. The dude misses reads left and right. He missed Barkley on a surefire touchdown. I think they end up getting a touchdown anyway, thank God. But it's it's just like, you know, they give him two touchdowns on a run. Like, they call it two touchdown runs. My God, you're pushed into the end zone. You're not doing anything. I wish we could just strip up all those touchdowns off this freaking stat line. Yes, I'm starting to not like Jalen Hurts. Like, he's starting to aggravate the fuck out of me. I want him to do well. I want to be proven wrong. I want him to light it up against the Bengals, like light it up, making every pass, every read, every whatever. And look, people are going to make mistakes. Even Tom Brady, the greatest of all time, made mistakes. It happens. But the dude cannot read the field. He cannot go through his progressions to save his fucking life. And then he runs into sacks. It's... I feel like... It's driving me crazy even more because all the rest of the team is starting to come into place. Think about if we had an above average quarterback right now. Think about if we had a good, just a good, I'm not even gonna say a great, just imagine if we had a good quarterback right now. You could start thinking Super Bowl. You could, you could. I understand the Browns and the Giants aren't great. So the fact that the defense hasn't allowed a touchdown in back-to-back -back games, you can sit there and say, well, look. But they also look damn good against the Saints as well. Um, and they look, for the most part, other than that last drive, ugh, they look pretty good against the Falcons. We, you know, so it's like, other than the freaking Buccaneers and, and, and the Packers in week one, they, defense has been looking pretty good. Um, and I watched them shit the bed next week, and, uh, you know, against Joe Burrow, possible. But everything else looks... Like it's coming into shape, coming rounding into form. And I understand the, the Lions and, and the Vikings and you, you'd expect the 49ers to start getting better once their people come back and stuff. But <clears throat> I understand that they're, and the Buccaneers just destroyed us. They're in the NFC, so we have to deal with them. So I understand that there's teams we have to overcome. But man, if the quarterback could just get his shit together and start going through reads and... and I, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm just hung up on that. I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be Debbie, Debbie Downer. I am happy. I am happy that we had a comfortable win for the first time in fuck knows forever. Um, it just Jalen Hurts just needs to get his shit together. You know, he throws that big touchdown to Brown. He's all like, oh yeah, shut the fuck up, dude. You're the weak link on the team, on the team, not just offense, on the team. <laughs> like, uh, Jesus Christ, dude. You you got work to do. Seriously. 
You need to get in the lab, on the field, learn to go through progress. I don't know how they coach him up. I don't know what they do. But I feel like they're going to look at this game. And look, this game, is it, is it a coincidence that we ran the ball as much as we did because we wanted to give Saquon his touches? And we just so happened to blow out the team? Next week against the Bengals, there's no revenge factor. There's no like, oh, we got to give this this running back his touches. So do we go right back to throwing the ball and shooting ourselves in the fucking foot? Think about it. Other than that one pass, that one fucking pass to AJ, all the good stuff that we did on offense came through the running game. All of it. Every last bit of it. And all the bad shit came from Hurts dropping back to pass. There was a lot of bad that came from that. Sacks. I'm just saying. um, It sucks. I mean, I don't even think... I don't think Devontae Smith had a single catch. Did he even have a target in this game? I don't know. But, um... It sucks because with the weapons we have... We have to be a run first team. We do. I am happy. I am happy. And look, this is the best game the Eagles have played all year. I just think Jalen Hurts, and I'm not even talking about his total yardage because he only had, he only had 14, I think 14 attempts. I think it was like 10 of 14. So you're not going to throw 300 and some yards on 14 attempts. Um, so I'm, it's not even about his numbers. It's... Just looking at him, the eye test, watching him, he does not go through his reads and he holds the ball so long and then runs into sacks. He is such a problem in the backfield. And I'm scared that the whole team, Nick Sirianni, the cheerleaders, <laughs> is gonna, just going to sit there and look at it and be like, and, and just disregard it. I don't think Jalen Hurts is being coached hard because me, if I was the coach, which I have no business being a coach, but if I was the coach, I'd be laying into him. Like, yeah, we won 20 to 3. Yeah, yeah, great, awesome. You were bad, dude. You were bad. Like, that's just how I would be. He needs to get through his head. (sighs) I'm going to stay on this fucking dying horse. Whether you guys like it or not. Whether we win by 50 or lose by 50. I'm going to stay on this dying horse until Jalen Hurts proves to me that he's improving in that area. Seriously. And I'm not just talking about games where he's like, he drops back and he passes right away. No, I'm not talking about just passing to your first read. I want to see you actually, when you have to go through progressions, I want to actually see you fucking do it. You can't tell me that A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Dotson, I know Dallas Goddard's not out there, but Calcaterra's a decent receiving tight, uh, tight end. And Saquon Barkley all can't, like they can't get open when you're sitting back there for four or five seconds. It's like Hurts thinks he has four or five seconds back there. Dude, not every... (laughs) You are so spoiled by a good offensive line. You're spoiled. And when you don't get the pressure, like like when you you don't get the time, like today, you're going up against the number one team when it comes to sacks. When you don't have the time, it's like, guess what? Welcome to every other quarterback's world, dude. I don't know, but you're around the 20th to 25th best quarterback in the league. You're damn near last. I mean, you're, you're much better than Deshaun Watson and, and probably Jones and, and those type of dudes, two people you just beat. But there's a shit ton of better quarterbacks than you. I, I would love for you to prove me wrong. I'm not, I'm an Eagles fan. So I'm not here like wanting to be right. Prove me wrong. I'd be happy to be proven wrong. Because that means your Eagles are doing well and you're doing well. But Jalen Hurts, you have a fucking problem, dude. Your processor is so damn slow. Um It was a good win. Like I said, every other part of the team is lining into place and we are held back by our quarterback. If you ask me who the weakest link on our entire team is, I'd probably say Hurst. Yeah, there's Josh Huff, who for the most part has been absent this this season, although he's played better today. 
you could sit there and say um, CJ Gardner Johnson has been kind of getting beaten. You can maybe try to go here or there. But Hertz is right there. And honestly, like, on offense, for sure, he's the weakest link. And the way the defense has been playing, it's hard to pick anybody on the defensive side. Like, it's getting hard to do. So it's, it's like, you might actually say our quarterback is our weakest starter. Think about it. And if he's not number one, he's in the top three. Like, come on, if you're being real with yourself. So they're not going to bench him. They're not going to go somebody else. There's nobody better. So the only option you have is to get it through his head, Eagles. You have to have some uncomfortable conversations with them. You have to. You have to. Stop babying him and, and, and just seriously. I'm just saying. The Eagles did have a good win today. Like, there's a lot of good things that happened. Hurts second time didn't turn it over. Um, Saquon had a, a massive day. You know, um, AJ had a good day. The defense, my lord. I know we're playing the, the freaking Giants, but three points? I don't know. Is that their lowest of the season? That says something. Like, you know, like, I, good things. Good things. I like Cooper DeGene. I like Quinion. Freaking Mitchell, dude, you had another chance at a freaking interception. It's like every day, every, every, every day, every week he has a chance to intercept the ball. <laughs> you need to hit the jugs machine, dude. Um, I am happy. I am happy. I just see everybody going nuts. And even Xander saying that Hurts had a good game. Like, dude, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Take those two rushing touchdowns away like he was pushed into the end zone um he had one good pass to aj on a bad decision but it worked out you know like <sighs> the running game is what made it work for us today the running game and you start worrying like do we do we only commit to the running game because it's the giants and we want saquon to have his day you know what i mean like What's going to happen next week? I don't necessarily trust the Eagles. They haven't given me a reason to trust them. There's been no consistency. So are they going to go right back to being pass happy with the Bengals? Knowing that's Joe Burrow. And like, oh, we got to keep up with them. So let's pass, 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 pass. They don't look at themselves as a team like, let's, let's control the clock. Let's shorten the game. They don't want to think like that. The Eagles think too highly of themselves. They do. They think way too highly of themselves. They don't, they can't look at themselves in the mirror and be like, damn, we have a quarterback problem who takes sacks and turnovers and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Doesn't go through his progressions. Um, yada, yada, yada. We're slow starters. We're this, we're that. They don't look at themselves like that. They don't, they think they're, they think they're amazing. They think they're the best team in every freaking game. Talent wise, they might be, but they think they're the best team in every freaking game. And they want to go bombs away and, you know, so they don't look at themselves as a team that needs to shorten the game and run, run, run. That's why I think against the Bengals, while the Bengals have a bad record and um, all that stuff, they're going to think we got to keep up with Joe Burrow and so we got to pass, pass, pass. Blah, blah. I don't know. If the Eagles run the ball a lot, and I'm not just saying if they're like, if they, well, one, if they're up multiple scores, that's good. But I'm not just saying when they're up multiple scores and they're trying to close out the game. I'm talking like when the game matters, when the game's in the, you know, we'll see. We'll see if they realize that their identity is run first. We'll see. We will see. If they continue to run the ball um, and, you, you know, at, at halftime, we're sitting there looking at like, Migos are playing like a running team. Then okay, all right, maybe, 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 maybe I'll think that you kind of figure it out. If we're at halftime, and I don't care whether we're winning or losing, I don't care. If we're at halftime and we're like we're throwing the ball all, all over the yard, whether it's working or not working, I'm gonna be like, they just don't get it. They don't get what their identity should be. They don't get it. They don't understand who they are. So we'll see. We'll see if this was just a Saquon Barkley only show, or if, or we'll see if they're actually understanding. We'll find out. 
Um, I am happy, guys. I am. I, I just, everyone's going nuts. And I'm like, dude, I know you're looking at Jalen Hurts only throwing the ball 14 times. And he, he was 10 of 14. It's like a 71% completion percentage off the top of my head. Um, and he had three touchdowns because you count those two rushing touchdowns. Um, but if you really looked at it, he had a hard, he, he, he had problems going through his progressions. I mean, it's been AJ, AJ, AJ. AJ, AJ, AJ. Ridiculous. It's like the only person he fucking threw to. Um, we have a problem. <laughs> and I'm trying to get ahead of it, even in a win, even in a good win, trying to get ahead of it and be like, guys, I'm worried. I'm happy, but I'm worried going forward. Hope I'm wrong. Peace out, guys.